this is the 2024 Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Plus, and it's a pretty big deal in the Chromebook world. Not only is it the thinnest and lightest Chromebook Plus, yet still one of the largest with a 15.6 inch AMOLED display, it also features an updated Chromebook keyboard layout, incorporating a number of new keys like the quick insert key and the new launcher key. This one has been on loan to me so I can bring you my review. I've spent a good few weeks with it since my unboxing last month. I'll link you to that video at the end of this one. I'm largely impressed, but as always, there are some things you need to be aware of. I've shared several deals on X Threads and Blue Sky as usual as how you can save on this Samsung. And whilst it is at the more premium end of the Chromebook market, it does do a lot to justify its price. The lightweight and thin design is remarkable. At 1.17 kg, that's about 2.58 pound. It makes no sense in a Chromebook with a 15.6 inch display. Picking up pretty much any other Chromebook I've shown on the channel after this one, just makes them feel extra heavy. It's a similar thing when it comes to how thin this is, at just 11.8 millimeters. For me, that just makes so much sense as a choice for traveling. To benefit from the large 15.6 inch AMOLED display, yet not feel like I'm paying the price in the weight I'm carrying. The aluminium lid looks good in the Neptune blue color, but it really depends on your lighting at the time as to how blue or gray it looks. The bottom of the Chromebook is black and it feels a bit more like a mixed material. It's still really rigid, but feels a little bit more plasticky. That AMOLED Full HD display gets nice and bright at acclaimed 400 nits, and it has really vibrant colors. I know a lot of people would have loved this to have been a touch display, but in order to do so, I think the magic of that lightweight design would likely have been compromised. So as usual, it's all about your preferences. I found myself at times wishing the display would sit back 90 degrees against the body of the Chromebook. Not that I ever really needed it to for viewing angles, but I'm just used to clamshell Chromebooks being able to do this. The webcam at the top of the display produced some good results. It's a 1080p webcam. It would have been great to have seen a Quad HD camera at this premium end of the market. And there's no privacy shutter for it either, but again, there is a blue LED that does the job telling you when the camera is in use. You still, of course, get all of the Chromebook plus advanced software features for the picture quality and sound. Sound is another area where there's been some compromise as the speakers are on the bottom of the Chromebook. They get fairly loud, but there's not much richness to them. And of course, you just lose the benefit that you would have had if they were firing up at you from the keyboard deck. However, yet again, depending on your priority call, I think I'd prefer to take the excellent keyboard deck layout that Samsung have provided here. You've got a keyboard that's really nice to type on with these backlit keys and a really large and smooth responsive touchpad. I've really enjoyed typing on this one with this shorter key travel that's really consistent with nice feedback and having the number pad available has also been a plus. The only downside to the dark color, it's felt like a bit of a dust magnet at times. With the new quick insert key, I'm trying to get used to taking advantage of it. For some, of course, they're still preferred to map this back to being a constant caps lock key, which is possible, or even if you wanted to, you could remap it back to being the launcher. But I found the new G branded launcher pretty intuitive too. I've also found myself using the dedicated keyboard backlighting level buttons to turn the brightness up and down. As you may have seen on my videos on Chrome OS 131 and 132, there have been more and more accessibility features being introduced to Chrome OS 2. So the dedicated accessibility key here makes sense. Overall, this new keyboard layout works well for me and being the first Chromebook to adopt it, feels like it will continue to feel modern in the Chromebook world for longer. Speaking of which, with either the Intel Core 3 or Core 5 processor, you'll see Chrome OS updates through to June 2032 on this one, not 2034 as I had expected. I explain more on why that is in my unboxing and overview video on this Samsung. Again, I'll link you to that one at the end of this video. I've got the Core 5 processor in this1, and as you may expect, coupled with the 8GB of RAM and 256GB of embedded universal flash storage, performance has been swift. Often with two users logged in and over 30 plus tabs open, and I've had no holdups. I expect the same to be true for the Core 3. I think you'd only see a difference if you actually had them side by side. When pushing performance, of course, the fan on the bottom would kick in and I'd notice some heat from the grill, but nothing that I'd class as excessive. Battery life is a similar story if you're keeping the screen brightness relatively low and just using it for general use. I feel more like 10 to 11 hours rather than the estimated 13 hours might be more realistic. For me, with mixed use, I've been closer to 7 to 8 hours. 
Using the supplied 45 watt USB-C charger and giving an hour of charge time, I got from 0% up to 56% of the 68 watt hour battery's capacity. However, I tested with my own 65 watt charger and one hour charge with that got me to 73%. So it does support faster charging, it's just a shame it's not bundled with a 65 watt charger. Having two USB-C ports on this Samsung is great, but ideally I'd like to have seen one on either side so you could charge on either side of your desk. But overall, given that there's a micro SD hard slot, a full-size USB-A port, a headset microphone combo jack, and an HDMI port, which I believe is version 1.4, it's a pretty good result for connectivity and I didn't find any other challenges. Overall, hopefully you can see this makes for a great productivity Chromebook, especially for those who value traveling with a lighter device. As always though, let me know what you think of it in the comments. If you want to see a detailed unboxing and spec overview of this Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Plus, do check the video on the left next. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm thinks you're going to like the video on the right. Cheers.